Hi, I'm Reese Godby. I'm a ninth grade at Bainbridge High School and this is my Laws of Life essay. You learn you can do your best, even when it's hard, even when you're tired and maybe hurting a little bit. It feels good to show some courage. Joe Namath. This essay is about determination and perseverance and the title is Just Keep Pushing Through the Pain. It was supposed to be a perfect day, full of quality time with friends and horses. I had been training all summer with my horse, Smoke, in preparation for the Autumn Classic Horse Show in Perry, Georgia. The cold November morning started out normal. We woke up before dawn, got dressed, ate breakfast, and excitedly drove to the showgrounds. After arriving, we unloaded our tack, muck stalls, and meticulously groomed our horses so they would look their best in the show ring. With our chores complete, my teammates and I decided to take the horses for a walk to stretch their legs since they had been cooped up all night. I was holding Smoke's lead rope as we headed toward the parking lot. Suddenly, he spooked for no apparent reason. He jolted forward, knocking me to the ground as his powerful hoof dug deep into the back of my right heel, ripping the skin. I was in tremendous pain, so I handed Smoke over to one of my friends and tried to limp back to the barn. Thankfully, my best friend Brennan carried me on her back when I could no longer walk. Once I entered the barn, my friend's grandmother noticed the bleeding gash on my heel and quickly grabbed band-aids and antibiotic cream for me. I knew my parents were on the way and was relieved when I saw my dad's black truck roll into the parking lot. My mom and dad immediately knew something was wrong and began questioning me. Since my heel was swollen and I could barely walk, my mom asked, are you sure you're able to compete today? I was determined to ride in the Autumn Classic Quarter Show. I thought to myself, Smoke and I practiced too hard to come all this way and not even compete. We have trained for months. I am riding. My parents agreed that ultimately the decision was mine. With that settled, we decided to lunge Smoke to be sure he would not act like a lunatic again. My nerves calmed a bit when I saw that he had relaxed. After Smoke's workout, our trainer announced that the first class was about to begin. We hurriedly put on our show coats, tacked up our horses, and led them to the show ring. Pressing through the pain, I mounted smoke and slipped my throbbing heel into the stirrup. I had no intention of giving up now. Once the show finally started, Smoke and I did better than ever. We were making the perfect team. It was as if he was apologizing for hurting me and this was his way of making up for it. However, I was disappointed that we had yet to win a ribbon above seventh place. I remember asking Brennan, why aren't we winning anything? Am I doing something wrong? As we entered our final class, I was beginning to feel like it just wasn't our day. I was doubtful as the class ended, but to my amazement, Smoke and I were called for first place. My heart was pounding with so much excitement that I could barely process my thoughts. We just won. Smoke and I did it. As we exited the arena, tears of happiness rolled down my cheeks. Leaning down, I wrapped my arms around Smoke's strong neck and softly told him what a good boy he was. That special day makes me think of Joe Namath's quote, you learn you can do your best even when it's hard, even when you're tired and maybe hurting a little bit. It feels good to show some courage. I have learned that you have got to keep trying even when it's difficult, even when you are exhausted and in pain. You must keep pushing through and sooner or later, you will reach your goal. On that cold November day, I sure did.